Okay, a small packet is one of the real nice, effective, quick pins or reversal type moves. So it's nice to uh, do at a certain part of the match where, and any of these ones are effective for that, where it looks like the guy, one guy's at a serious disadvantage is on the verge of losing, you're getting his ass kicked. And bang, out of the blue, you pull out one of these uh, quick reversals. It's like a team intercepting uh, a pass in the end zone uh, and averting a touchdown or maybe running it back all the way. So it's a nice sudden change of pace. You don't want to overuse these. If you use them too much, they become uh, anticlimactic and don't serve any great purpose. Um, so Adrian's saving kicking my ass pretty good. I'm uh, rocking and reeling in the fence, perceive that I'm ready to uh, maybe uh, lose the match. And bang, out of the blue, I pull one of these things out, so he's maybe about ready to give me a suplex or something like that. Boom, <laughs> okay. What I do, I've already got my hand in position here, which is uh, one of the primary parts. I've got the left arm around the head. I extend my right leg and do a half grapevine around the back of his calf, and I slide the right hand down. I just sit down. Okay. So I've got him pinned. This is called a small package. One, two, three, or uh, if he wants, he can kick out. So at least I've turned the pace, even if I'm selling my ass off. Well, I gave the fans a little bit of a change of pace. I think maybe uh, I have a little bit of life back in me. So you don't always want to be dying on a on a on a cell. You always have to give a little bit of ray of hope. So that either if I had pinned him one two three, when I'm getting my ass kicked, it would have been a hell of a pop by the crowd because it was a huge change of pace. Or even if I didn't pin him, I got one two boom. You know, I restored a little bit of uh, interest to the crowd. They're thinking maybe I got a little bit of fight left in me. Okay, another one of those quickie pins is uh, backslide. There's all kinds of different ways to go into it. Say Adrian's been kicking my ass and he's ready to give me a stunner, say. And I'm uh, rocking, reeling, and uh, the phone. Okay, at this point, he's right in position to give me a stunner. Based on the people's preconditioning, they probably think I'm ready to be beaten. So at the last sec, what I do is I turn my left arm toward him, boom, hook the other arm. So now what I do is I drop to my knees, pinch the arms in, and slide up to here, okay? At this point, we do a backslide. So he just slides down my back, and I kind of get into a tripod. One, two, three. If it was so set up, I would have pinned him there. Or if uh, it wasn't, he kicked out two and nine tenths or something like that, and uh, the crowd gets a quick little rise and says, geez, uh, Crazy Horse almost got pinned as he was about to uh, do his uh, finishing move. So it yeah. takes the pendulum from here to here. And that's what you want to be doing in the ring is uh, taking him from one emotional extreme to another. Okay. So it's how you set it up. Those moves only mean anything if they're uh, at a certain stage of a match. I could go on the, the opening uh, of a match and do a small package, a backslide, a sunset flip, you know, a back roll up. I could do all 10 of those in 30 seconds at the beginning of a match and it wouldn't mean shit. It's like hitting a home run in the uh, bottom of the first in Great Fruit League Baseball. It doesn't mean fuck all, but if you hit one, uh, in the bottom of the ninth in the uh, seventh game of the World Series with uh, your team down uh, by a run or something like that. You know, it's uh, a big thing. So it's timing. Yeah. None of these things mean shit without uh, the proper sequence or context. That's essential to understand in this business. Everything is when you do it as much as how well you do it and all that other. So, um, I can show you a few, few other variations because we're talking about it pertaining to uh, backslides. Say Adrian's given me uh, maybe uh, going to go to give me a Northern Lights suplex, for example. So he's got me going. Especially if, say, this would proceed to be one of Adrian's signature moves and I'm, I'm fucked and ready to be beaten. So I'm going to reach in here and go turn through. Drop, pinch. Slide. Either pin him or uh, at least turn the table.
tables on him, people. Spot. He's maybe gonna go to give me a back drop. He's fired man, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm rocking and reeling, so you fired me in and I go down to the bridge. So what I do is One, two, boom, maybe he comes like his knee or boom, or whatever. So we got a, another quick turnabout. Okay. It's another real simple one uh, that's fairly popular. It's been overused, I have to say, but it's a standard quicking pen is a sunset flip. Okay, we'll go with this one. Just did instead of doing back slide, I just dive over. Okay. So I get here. What I do is bring him up to there. One, two. You can either nail me or uh, be pinned. There's another quick one that's called the cross roll. So Adrian's maybe fired me in. It's maybe a. Uh, is this going to angle butter if we go from this way? Either way looks great. So he could be appearing uh, like he's going to give me uh, something. It could even be a clothesline yeah. or a knee or whatever, but we'll try the clothesline here. I'm fire in this way. Okay. From here? Yeah. So I'm just going to come flying off. You can fire me now. Yeah. Okay. So all I do is go right here. Let's try it sideways, it might be a little easier. So all I'm going to do is hook him around the waist, swing around behind him. So get him up to here, one, two. He kicks out, or I pin him, depending on what, okay. what's set up. Okay. This, uh, there's a lot of those, there's yeah. all kinds of variations or different ways that you can enter into them. But they're effective at turning the tables or changing the pace, which is an important part of uh, keeping the match interesting. <coughs> See if Dave's ready for a little bit more. A couple more sequences or something. Okay. Right now, uh, Adrian throws a really nice arm drag, and this is a legitimate standard amateur throw. Anytime you can convince or uh, convey to the people that you have some legitimate amateur or fighting or uh, martial arts or uh, whatever type background, it makes them uh, feel better about what you're doing because ostensibly you guys are supposed to be wrestlers, not. Uh, one-dimensional stiffs or muscle heads who uh, don't know their way out of a damned uh, junior high school gymnasium. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you can throw some nice throws, and our Greg's one of the real basic ones, subliminally it imparts to the people that uh, you are athletes and they feel better about that. They sort of say, well, that guy knows how to wrestle. Yeah. They see a good art track, uh, so they think, geez, that crazy horse knows how to work. 